Ooh, look at that, Des. It looks amazing. It looks incredible. I'm gonna say I'm gonna sign my cruise I'm gonna say I'm gonna sign my cruise Hey, what's the deal? <laughs> okay, that shit is like, okay. That's shit needs to start. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome to Sitting Pretty, it's your girl Lolo, and this video is going to be dedicated to a request that I had gotten in the comments, asking me to do a wheelchair transfer video. And so I thought, let's make it happen. It is important for people to know how to handle somebody with a disability. Disabled people need help from able-bodied people, and Shoot, vice versa, you know, us the same people, we have a lot to offer. Don't think just because we in a wheelchair that we're useless as people. No, that is not true. We are great people. <laughs> so I wanted to give a couple of demonstrations of some wheelchair transfers. So disabled body folks will be able to not feel so afraid or intimidated or scared to ask for help. And then able-bodied people will be able to see, hey, it's not that bad hanging out with a disabled person. So let me just ask if they need help or if you know somebody who's disabled, you won't be maybe intimidated to see what their needs are and help them. Let's start with this. This is my big body chair. This is the one that where I go any and everywhere with. This is, this is the one that's super durable. This is the chair that I take on and off the bus. This is the chair where, you know, if I wanna just do my own thing, be independent, this is the chair that I'm the most independent in. And what's great about it is that I'm able to get in and out of it on my own. So if I have to get up to go somewhere or reach something that I can't reach if I'm sitting down, I'll position myself to be in front of wherever it is that I'm going or what I'm trying to reach and I'll grab my leg, take it off, my feet rest, scoop to the edge, plant my feet on the ground, and I push myself up. So now that I'm standing, I'm able to grab whatever it is that I need to grab. And when I'm done doing whatever I have to do, I just sit back down, lift my legs back up, scoop back, and finished. Don't assume that just because somebody's in a wheelchair that they don't have the ability to stand or they don't have the ability to live and move independently. Trust, if we are in these chairs, nine times out of ten, we're able to live a lot more independently than you may assume. So don't be making any assumptions, all right? So for this part, I have my best friend Destiny here and she is going to help demonstrate and show what it is like when I have to use this chair. So this chair is called a transport chair, which is why it's not the kind with like the huge wheels on the side because I don't have the arm strength to maneuver a chair uh, like that. And with this one, I do need someone to actually manually push me and move me around, but it's super convenient. Um, <laughs> Really? <laughs> I heard. Um, it's super convenient because you know you can throw it in the back seat of a car, you can throw it in the trunk. It's super lightweight. How much do you think this chair weighs, this? Um, maybe like 10 pounds. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Super easy. I weigh 98 pounds, so my physical body is super light. Yeah, I know. I'm that slim thick. Get your seats. That part. Um, so yeah, so that's what this is for, and so we're just going to demonstrate. My feet are on the pedals, so Destiny, when it's time to get in the car, I put my feet down on my own, lift the pedals. Destiny will come around through the front. I scoop to the edge, stick my feet out, and then Destiny would come, grab me around my waist, and lift me to my feet. Ta-da! And then I just get in the car. Snaps the silver things in the back to drop the handlebars, grabs the seat in the middle and lifts it up. And that's it. That's simple. 
and the foot pedals are able to detach as well if for whatever reason you know they get in the way the transport chair is really good for a to b purposes so if somebody wanted to take me out on a date hint hint or wanted to go out somewhere with me or me and my friends we going to the club or we going to a bar or restaurant a birthday dinner kick back at the homie's house whatever the situation is the a to b chair the transfer chair is the best one to use when there are stairs prime example my friend copper unfortunately her apartment building does not have an elevator but she lives on the second floor so in that case you know she just puts me on her back, I get a piggyback ride up and down the stairs when it's time, and it's that simple. Check out this quick clip of what it looks like. As a disclaimer, please keep in mind that not every disabled person operates the same way. Each person is unique, each person has their different list of do's and don'ts, cans and cannots, so if you're interested in hanging out or being around somebody that you think is a cool person but they happen to be in a wheelchair or have any form of disability, it's always just the best to just ask. As a disabled person, communicate what you need help with and as an able-bodied person, communicate what you're willing to help with and what you feel like you are able to help with. It's so important and it makes us feel good when people come and ask us like, Hey, you know, I would love for you to come with me here, but I'm not really sure how you and the wheelchair thing works. Like, so tell me what do I need to do? And that's the easiest way to intro into having a good time and hanging out. I hope I gave a good demonstration. I hope it explained a lot for people who were curious as to how to handle or maneuver in these situations. It's super easy, trust me. It's, it's not as intimidating or fearful that you may think it might be. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought about the transfer. Let me know if you have any more questions. If you have any more requests of videos of what you wanna see, what you wanna learn about disability, working with disabled people in wheelchairs, or just my life and my experiences. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below or email me if you want to keep it personal one-on-one. -on -one. My email is in the description. I hope this all helps. So now when you go out and you see your friend that's in a wheelchair or you see that cute girl or cute guy that's in a wheelchair and you want to say something, now you know you can take him out on dates. You can go out and hang out with your friend. You can do sky's the limit. You can do everything. So don't be afraid. Build friendships. Build love. It's sitting pretty, baby. Peace. Be showing the good and the challenges of being physically disabled. Well, today is one of those challenges.